So I have been playing around with these new Fergie, um, the Center Stage Collection by Fergie for Wet n Wild um, shimmer palettes. I have the one, I have all three of them, but the ones I'm using today are the Rose Champagne Glow and the Rose Gold Goddess. Rose Champagne Glow, Rose Gold Goddess. I love the bronzy look of this one. Look at that. It's just so pretty and marbled. I really like it. Um, and then the highlighting look of this one, um, which is Rose Champagne Glow. I'm, this is my, my new favorite highlighter um, to use every day. And this look is more on the natural side, more of um, just a sun-kissed glow look a little on the cheeks, um, a bronzy sort of all over, and then a little bit of this pink highlight to give that, you know, sun-kissed um, skin just in from the sun sort of um, reflection, I guess. And so I really, really like this look. I don't know if the camera is picking it up very well, but just a light, there's bronzer, this um, Fergie Rose Golden Goddess, a light contouring, Fergie's Rose Golden Goddess all over, um, some blush on the cheeks, and a highlight on the nose and the cheekbones. And I'm also using something new, which I really, really like, um, which is the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation, um, you'll see in the video. And my color is Vanilla, and I really like the names of their, um, I think, I think they all had really cool names, but this one was Vanilla, and I really liked the name of it, so, um, I was excited that my shade had a cool name. Um, um, but I really like this Revlon Nearly Naked. I have um, a post in the works um, on the blog uh, called Foundation Wars about a few foundations and BB creams that I've been trying out. And this is, for me, a really light foundation for summer. I was looking for um, some BB creams um, that I could wear, you know, during the summer. But with my oily skin, it is not, it's not possible. It brings out, I guess, your natural, your natural glow, if you will. So... If you want to get this look, then just keep watching. All right, so I start by pinning back my newly clipped bangs. And as you can see, I have a lot of redness and scars on my face. And so, um, this is going to be like a full coverage sort of look for summer too. I moisturize my lips before I start putting on makeup because it just, it helps it, <laughs> it helps them be a lot more moisturized at the end of it. I'm using the e.l.f. primer here and you'll see like really quickly it completely mattifies my face. Um, this is one of the two new try or primers that I'm trying out. Um, so, so far I like it. I don't know if it's my favorite. But then I move on to the e.l.f. Um, Complexion Perfection palette. It's uh, got four colors that are supposed to correct um, the color of your face and give you a overall even tone. A lot of people I've heard don't like this. For me, I really, really like it. I mean, you can already tell that it has even my skin tone. And you will see powder flying all over in this video. Um, apparently, I didn't notice that. Um, at the time and I pour out a lot on accident onto my hand but um, I really like this foundation it is you'll see that it sort of looks like it's not my um, like look there it looks like it's not gonna match my skin tone but and when I first started using it I was like oh god I got it too light but as it sits on your face it sort of I don't know matches the shade at least for me it matches the shade of my of my skin and so I was really happy about that because I was thinking oh god I bought the wrong the wrong shade and this is not going to work but I really also like this because it does have a buildable coverage um, I was having a lot of redness in my face today so I put a lot a lot more on than I usually do but it still was was pretty light and I really really am excited about using this foundation for summer um, I really like the coverage and the lightness of it um, so I'm really impressed. Um, after using Revlon Color Stay, I was like, this, nothing is going to be as great as that. But this Nearly Naked is is pretty good, and I really like it. Um, so if you are looking for more, more of a, you know, good coverage uh, makeup for the summer that's really light, this is, this is a great option. And so I just go through this, um, building it up where I need it. My cheeks were really red today, so I'm just building up the coverage there, blending it down to my neck. And you can see it does cover up a lot of the scarring, gives a more even, even look to the face, and I really like it. Of course, I really like my natural sort of look to come through as well. Um, I just want like a better version, I guess, of my skin. I don't mind my scars or, or anything, but 
And this is my one of my favorite concealers. Um, it is the Revlon Color Stay Concealer, and I just put it under my eyes. It has a little doe foot applicator, and um, I really, really like this too. <laughs> I'm just blending it out with my beauty sponge. I get mine really, really damp because this is a really hard sponge. It's a generic beauty blender, I guess, and so it's really hard, and um, I just get mine really damp. And this is Glamouflage. Um, I really love this concealer. It's not great for under your eyes, but I really like it for concealing spots. And the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder is my all-time go-to powder. I don't think I'm going to change any other powder. It keeps me matte all day. I just love the finish of it. Um, I love the coloring of Rimmel products. I feel like they suit me very well. You can see the powder flying around, but I just press that um, and dotting motions all over my face. I don't want to sweep it too much because I don't want the, to move the foundation around. And once it's set, I go into a little bit of light contouring with NYC Bronzer and Sunny. And it's really matte. You don't want to use those um, shimmer palettes to contour because you kind of want to have a shadow here. And you don't want any glitter or highlighting in that area. And this just sort of slims your face. Just gives you a little bit, gives me at least a little bit more of cheekbones, I feel. And then moving on to the Shimmer Palette in Rose Gold Goddess. Um, I really, really, this marble is just so pretty. Um, using a light hand with this, I always build this up because I'm still a little bit intimidated by it. But I start by sweeping it on the outer side of my face, um, temples and forehead. Not too much in the middle, just around it. Then a little bit in the blush area, blending it down. I'm just trying to get it all over bronze sun-kissed glow and I think this brush was a bit too small so I switched to a bigger one um, and started sweeping it all over my face and I really like this foundation because it can really take a buffing if you know if that makes sense it can really buff the heck out of it and it's it'll stay in place and so just building up this this shimmery look I think I got it down pat now um, and adding a bit of a bit more just to Make sure. Thing looks good. I'm still really intimidated by it, so I <laughs> build it up a little bit. And this is uh, the color icon blush by Wet n Wild in Mellow Wine. And I use a stippling brush because I like I really like the way it applies. And this just gives you more of a, a sun kiss look as well. Um, I really like blending in with a stippling brush. The the color in this is so pigmented though. Um, I don't know how many times I've been like, oh crap, I look like a tomato. And <laughs> like I was really buffing that out because I got a little bit too much color there. Um, but this, I really love the faces I'm making. This, uh, this foundation can really take a buffing. So, looks really good. And then I just use um, a fan brush along with the Wet n Wild um, bra highlighter, sorry, in um, Rose Gold a rose champagne glow. You can see the powder really flying around. And I just put that on um, just areas to highlight, center my forehead, down my nose, blending it around my cheekbones, just to give a little like sun-kissed glow. And then curl my eyelashes. I always get one eye looking really good and the other eye looks crazy wonky. So you can still see the powder flying around. And I really like using a blend of these two um, mascaras. I start first with a CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. And I really like the way the wand just separates your eyelashes. And I think it's a good base. And so I'll do um, two coats of that on each eye. Or about two coats. And it just separates your lashes. I really like using it as, you know, that first, first application. It really separates your lashes. Yep, two coats. And then I go over that with the Rimmel um, Scandalized Lycra Flex. And I like, it has more of a traditional wand. And I think that you get more product on your eyelashes that way. And so I start off with the separated ones. And then this gives a little bit of fullness and a little bit of length for me. And I just really like the, the traditional wand. And so... Nearly done. This is my e.l.f. Uh, Mist and Set setting spray that I really, really like. I can definitely tell the difference when I don't use it during the day. It just keeps my makeup on, at least for me, a little bit longer. 
And then this is um, a Rimmel lipstick um, from Kate Moss. I'm not sure of the color, but it's a really natural, natural looking color for me. And I'm almost done. You'll see here that I forgot to do my eyebrows, so I'll pick out, pick out a spoolie brush in one second. Too busy with my hair. And I just comb my eyebrows. I don't really fill in my eyebrows because I have big eyebrows to begin with. Um, but I just brush them out, get them in line, and then I use this clear uh, brow gel um, just to keep them, keep them in line throughout the day. And so there you have it. A nice bronzy sun-kissed look for summer. Thanks for watching.